Hi there ladies, Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a Hawaiian floral negative space design. I'll be using these two new plates from Maniology. They're part of their monthly subscription that they have. Um, as well as these stamping polishes that are also part of the monthly subscription. So I'll be um, having all these items for you listed down in the description box below. As well as any discount codes if I've got them um, for you too. So I'll be using three different stampers and I've also already started off my mini with a couple of coats um, no actually I think I did three coats of the Mavala polish it's quite a sheer polish so I just wanted to do three coats just to get um, a little bit more opaque I'll also be using a palette and a fine detail brush and also the Orly Bonder just to help the um, images stick to the nails so I'm going to be making decals today with these and um, these are the images or some of the images I'll be using so I'm just showing you there on the stamper these um, images are absolutely stunning. I think the hardest part of the mini was trying to just select a few that I wanted to use, but there were just so many there and they were so beautiful and they worked really well together. Um, these plates, there's two plates obviously that are um, very, very similar images, but they do work really well together. So I'm just gonna do some reverse stamping. So I'm just um, using those three stamping polishes just to color in the design. So I'm just doing this from the reverse of the design and I'm going to be blending some of the colors just to get a little bit more um, depth to the mini but these images themselves are really opaque and um, they these polishes do dry quite fairly quickly too because they are stamping polishes but you can use them as regular polishes on your nails too and um, just to paint your nails if you if you feel like you want to the, the colors are really nice and I found that this grouping of colors just worked really well together that's what they look like there. So the orange and the um, the creamy coloured ones were both from this month's subscription, whereas the blue one was from the um, previous month's subscription. So I just wanted to use them together as I felt like it was a really nice grouping of colours. So this is the first decal done here. I'm just going to pop that aside and let that fully dry and then move on to the next one. So this one, I'm just showing you sped up. So the other one was in real time, but um, this one I'm actually just showing you sped up because you sort of get the idea of what I'm doing here. And um, this type of nail art's lots of fun. Um, you know, it's um, you know it's just enjoyable. It's just like doing coloring in basically. And you can use so many different color variations too. But with these images being so detailed, you could actually just stamp them straight onto the nail too if you wanted to. That's the second decal done there. And I do do the rest of them off camera. So because my polish has dried and there are a lot of um, areas on the stamped image that um, haven't got any colouring in, I'm just going to apply Orly Bonda to give a tacky surface to the nails. So I usually just give it about 30 seconds to a minute to dry and then basically just stamp that image straight onto the nail. And then this is the second decal that I showed you that I was making. Actually, no, this is the first one that I showed you I was making. This has got the cute little bird um, standing on top of the um, flower. It's quite cute. So I'm going to do just some minimal cleanup here. And um, because the, um, the image itself was quite dry, um, I was able just to kind of just scrape off any dry bits around the nail. But I'm just going to go in with my brush and some polish remover just to further clean it. So this image here um, that I did on my pointer finger, I just stamped that part of the image on first. And then I actually did one of the hibiscus flowers off camera and just reverse stamp that and just stamp that straight over the top, as well as the one on the um, pinky. Once I've done all the nails, I'm just going to go ahead and seal it all in with, I actually did two coats of Sesh Feet because it, I really wanted to um, wear this design for a few days and I wanted a little bit of longevity and I really wanted to do a, a super glossy top coat. So I do do two coats of um, Sesh Feet and this is just me showing you that I've done it on both hands there. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Did you like this design or have you got any of these plates? Are you looking to um, subscribe to Maniology? This is a first time I've done a subscription with them and um, this is actually the second lot of um, plates that I've had from them but I've just been so busy doing lots of other designs I've just only managed to get around to using them now 
but um, yeah if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel it is free to do so and I'm also on Instagram you'll find a direct link for me down below and apart from that ladies thanks for stopping by and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are bye for now